In today's video, we are going to be exploring Gutenna Forms and we'll start by installing the plugin. So we'll hover over plugins on the left hand side, then we'll click on add new, and then we'll search for Gutenna Forms. It's the first result, so we'll install and activate the plugin. And once it's done, we can start testing it out. So let's build a new page. We'll hover over pages on the left hand side. We'll click on add new. And now we need to name this page. So we are going to call it test form. Okay, now let's add a new column block at the bottom. I'll use a single column. Let's add a Gutenna form by clicking on the plus, then form. And there we can choose from four different variations. So I'll use the first one. And I'll also click on the list view icon at the top, just so that we can see the full structure of the form. So here we have our main form block, which contains multiple blocks and we can see its settings over on the right hand side. Let's take a look at field groups. If I click on it, you'll see that it highlights the first form field and its label. If we expand it, you'll see that it contains a stack, which contains the individual elements. And there's also a field error message block, which we cannot see in the preview, but we have its settings on the right. We also have a form submit button block with its own settings, which happens to be apparent to an actual button block, which also has its own options. So you can take a look at both of these options when creating a button. Our next block is confirmation message. And this is basically the success notification we get when all of our information is valid. We can see it right here. If we expand this, we can see that it's created from a row which contains an image and a paragraph block. And finally, we have the error message block, which basically has the same structure as the confirmation message block. All right, so let's create a form from this template. Let's replace first name with full name. Okay, now the placeholder in the field still says enter your first name. So we need to change this. Let's move to the right hand side in the settings. And if we take a look, we'll see our field name is already full name and our field name and attributes need to be changed. So we'll just change this, the first part of this to full. So it'll be full underscore name. And the placeholder field is right at the bottom. We'll just remove this part. We'll make this enter your full name. Okay. And we'll keep it as required. And we don't need to change the color or dimensions. So let's move on to the next field. And we still have the last name field, so we need to remove it. So we'll click on options, then remove block. So now we have full name, email, subject, and message. Let's add a new field. We'll search for field group. So here it is. We'll click on that one. Let's start editing it. We'll click on label and we'll type in phone or phone number. And this placeholder will be, you guessed it, please enter your phone number. And when you add a new field, you can always choose your field type here. In our case, we'll keep it as text. Now let's move down to the button. So we'll click on it. And on the right, we'll select a width. We have 25 to hundred percent. We'll just keep it as 25. We can also change our background color. So let's make it this purple color or maybe red. So we'll choose this one. And you also have the option to make changes to your typography or maybe your buttons dimensions like padding. This moves in steps. So you can definitely go ahead and adjust this if you need to. You can also make the borders of your button rounder by moving this slider. And finally, we can go to form on the left. We just want to go ahead and click on the main form block. And this first option will make the inner blocks take up the entire form container width. At the bottom, we have the form name and right under, we have a toggle to show or hide the forms labels. And here you can configure the forms colors. So as an example, I'll change the label color to orange so that you can see what it's like. And then we have additional options like label typography, font weight, placeholder typography, and also notification settings. And we're sending emails to admins by default. Here's the admin email. And we can also add an email subject like customer inquiry. The confirmation is set to message, but you can always change this if you want. We have an option to hide the form after submission. Then we have color and dimensions. Remember these options are for the container and not the individual fields. So feel free to play around with these options to see what's possible. So once you are happy with your form, you can go ahead and click on the publish button at the top. Now let's right click on this link at the bottom and we'll just open it in a new tab or window. So here's our form. And now I'll just enter some random information. I'll make sure everything is entered in the correct format and I'll click on submit. And here's our success notification. Now let's see what happens when we enter information that does not follow the correct format. I'll click on submit and we'll see the error message. All right, so this was a quick demonstration of how Gutenna Forms works. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.